Hey guys, thank you for joining us right here at Missledyne Online. Gameplay in the background, of course, is from Mass Effect 3, the demo for PC. Uh, I, I'm playing the demo, um, this is post-commentary, so I'm doing it after I played the demo. And guys, I must say, if you haven't downloaded the demo yet from Origin, please do. Please do. It is so good. Anyways, on to this. Right here, right when you first start, you get to choose your experience. Action, the combat difficulty is adjustable, conversations play as cutscenes. So, you don't actually get to choose anything that you say. Role-playing, traditional Mass Effect experience, customize your character and choose dialogue responses. Combat difficulty is, and story, where difficulty is nothing. The combat is wicked easy, so of course I'm going to pick uh, role-playing, because to me that seems like the, the, the way to go. Uh, I, you don't want it to be... Why wouldn't you want to enjoy this, the story, you know? Why wouldn't you want to enjoy the story? I don't I don't fully understand that. Um, if you if if you guys pick something else or you guys would think you would pick something else, let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Me? Never. Never. I love the story and I like the combat, so I wouldn't want to sacrifice either one of those. To me it doesn't make sense. Now, I must say, I was just going through this uh, to show you guys um, some of the customization and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, I just, I don't like it. I don't. And I think it's because Shepard is voice acted. You know what I mean? You can't customize your own character because then you have your own type of voice portrayed for that character going on, whatever you think. So you made your character, but yet he's got a voice that you have no control over. And I don't, I don't enjoy that. Um, not to mention that when I first played Mass Effect, the original one, I actually, um... I played the original, the default appearance Shepard, so, so yeah, that's, that's the story in my mind, is Shepard, the male Shepard, um, and I, I've played the female Shepard too, and she's, she's fantastic, very well voice acted, um, actually in the first game she was much better voice acted than, than this one, um, however, I would like to say, and you guys will notice right away, that the voice acting is great. So anyways, you got the Soldier, the Infiltrator, the Vanguard, the Sentinel, the Adept, and the Engineer, as always. Soldier is more just run and gun. Infiltrator is uh, sniping class, uh, rogue. Vanguard, you just run right up and kill people. Sentinel is a combination between Adept and the Engineer. Um, Adept is like a, a magic user kind of thing going on. Engineer is all tech. So, the Sentinel's pretty cool, it's got some awesome things there. Um, but I, of course, am going to choose Adept because that's what I've played um, all of them on. Uh, except for the first one I actually played uh, as a soldier. So here you have Spacer, Colonist, Earthborn. If you guys are uh, familiar with Mass Effect, this is your background story. Uh, where you were. Um, I chose Earthborn because, well, one, this game takes place on Earth. And two, I have been an Earthborn uh, John Shepard's whole life. I'm also going to be a war hero because I enjoy that. Um, I enjoy that storyline. I like being looked up to in a game. I think it's cool. Now, here you get to choose who died throughout the games. So, Vermeer, um, at Vermeer in the first one, you lost either Caden Alenko or Ashley Williams. Um, I like Ashley, so I, I chose Caden. Um, and you'll see why I like Ashley. She's hot. Anyways, this is uh, the beginning intro. I'll let you guys enjoy it. Um, it's, it's pretty exhilarating. All right. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone in the universe. Thirty years later, they found a peaceful place among dozens of galactic species, but this idyllic future is overshadowed by a dark past. Reapers, a sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life every 50,000 years, are about to return. The leaders of the galaxy are paralyzed by indecision. It's up to you to save the world. <laughs> 
totally didn't see that coming, did you? Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. It's a big dude. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. And here, of course, you get to pick the, the dialogue wheel, as and always. Not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. We've all reviewed your report, seen the data you've collected. But it's all just theory to us. You've been there, in the trenches, fighting them. You know what they're capable of. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting Isn't the voice acting fantastic? Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? And of course, that's a new character, James Vega. Shepard. The big guy. Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. So much hotter in this game. For orders now. Admiral. Come on. Right on. You know the commander? I used to. Oh, get over yourself. You still do. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't move that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Uh-oh. Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. just got chills this guy right here 
Yeah, he did. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Is this game not fantastic? I mean, just, just by watching it, I'm sure you guys can tell that there's so much work went into this game. Um, here I'm just looking around to show you guys how beautiful it looks. While playing this, it literally feels like things are being destroyed around you. Um, and it is, it is beautiful. It has a beautiful feeling to see the world uh, like this. You know, it, it, it's so it's so good. Also, I'd like to add that it's really weird not providing commentary um, because of Take a running jump. scenes it's where people are talking. Books. I don't know if I like it. And the movement now in this game is a lot a lot different. Before you Come could on, just crouch go. and vault over objects. Now you literally, you jump off of things, you jump onto things. There is no jump button, you just kind of run forward and uh, by pressing the space bar you can actually run faster. Um, now a little bit about the the thing that you're seeing um, for the UI right now. Uh, obviously the, cur the the pistol cruiser cursor is in the middle we'll um, where you aim with. Uh, below that is the shield. The purple line Let's is the clear. shield. And underneath that is your actual health. Um, see cover is still, still there. I'm passing um, and then up top I have the one, two, and three hotkeys um, with different abilities. Singularity, uh, I believe warp is there, and cluster grenade. Um, so yeah, and yes, I'm playing this on PC. I normally, I think I'm going to be playing it on PS3 when I do more content of it, but I'm not positive. I really, really, really enjoy the graphics. Um, I really enjoy the gameplay. I enjoy everything that the PC has to offer, and I would consider myself a PC gamer, so I don't know what I'm going to play, and I realize that's weird, but um, I played Mass Effect 1 on PC. Look at this, melee. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Is there a better game? This is just the demo. Keep that in mind. This is just the here. demo. And there I found out that you can zoom in the gun because I'm stupid. And look out for those. You can get experience from getting those, so that's cool. Um, there's little health boxes and stuff like that throughout. So if you want to get that random vent, I figured you could go in there because I just assumed, yeah. And here I realized I'm dumb. You gotta hold F to do heavy melee, stupid me. Yeah, just like that, except closer. There you go. Good job, Corey. <laughs> Through this way. I gotta say, I really there was nothing in particular that stood out to me. Um, there was some clipping, there was some environment clippings in this, but uh, keep in mind it's hey. a demo. So. 
It's okay. I just want to point this out, guys. Um, this scene. Everyone's dying. <laughs> Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. They did it. Bioware did it. They've made choices ah, that feel that you mess. feel good or bad about. What if I pick Every get out of there? Would he have come with me? You know? I won't be responsible. I, it's awesome. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. Agreed, Shepard. It's so fast. It's too bad. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. too. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to I did help say us. that. You sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. And I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Reload, let's keep moving. How awesome is that? One lands right in front of you. And it goes to show how quick, how quickly the Reapers are just landing on Earth. I mean, they're just boom, down, boom, down. It's crazy. And if you remember in the beginning, we had our entire Earth fleet defending Earth. And guess what? Didn't stop them. Reapers just kept on coming. That was one of our ships. That was not one of the Reapers. Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in. Friendlies. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. That's new. Keep your head down. So again, cover is very important in this game, um, as they've as it's been in since Mass Effect 2. Um, it's pretty important, but it seems like everything that Mass Effect 2 did differently or wrong or uh, could have been corrected upon, so far in the demo has been corrected upon. Gunplay feels really cool. Um, everything feels really, really, really smooth, really good, and it's just the demo. What happened here? Uh, really excited. Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. March 6th is going to be a good day. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's going to be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to that gunship. I find it so awesome, too, that, uh... Anderson is actually with you on this, you know, all the time he's been he's been the man. Um, here I'm just kind of exploring and realizing that there's nothing to explore, which kind of I, I kind of wish you could uh, interact with things a bit more than you can, but um, that's all right. I'll get over it. I, yeah, that scared me too. It did. What the hell are those? Um, but that goes to show probably an enemy that you will be fighting at some point. So, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And more enemies, alright. There's 
There you go. I realized I have powers now. Remember, I chose the depth in the beginning, so... Now remember, I've played this game only, uh, well, Mass Effect 2 anyways, on PlayStation 3, so uh, me and the keyboard and mouse thing are, aren't aren't the best yet, so we're still getting used to it. I have played a lot of PC uh, shooters, so, you know, I'm still, I'm just getting used to it. I should have turned mouse dampening off, um, which I would suggest you do if you're playing on the PC. Uh, it's just really weird. It's, it's, it's weird. I uh, just take it off. Um, something I hope changes by the next time, by when the game releases, is graphic options. There's no way to change the graphics in this, so... And I would like to add that everything you're seeing here is at 30 frames per second. 30 FPS. Um, that's what Fraps records at. So, uh, you know, if, if you were playing with the max amount of Fraps, uh, Fraps, with the max amount of frames per second, it's going to look even better. Even better. So I just wanted to point that out. Lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got cover. Now, I don't actually show... There's there's two parts of this demo. There's this intro, and then there is a, uh, a gameplay-heavy action one that I didn't record um, for various reasons. One, this is really long already. And two, um, it's, you're seeing the combat. You're seeing the basics of the combat. And I don't like jumping... I think they put you, like, 12 levels higher or something. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think you should you Hope should be learning so. the game as you, you go. So I don't really like that they have that in the demo. I think this is good enough. Um, and then multiplayer, of course. The demo doesn't come out until Friday for us people that don't have Battlefield. Um, and then for the people that do have Battlefield 3, uh, they already have access to it. Um, on that note, if you guys on Friday, I will be doing videos and I will be I will be playing Mass Effect 3 multiplayer on the demo. My uh, origin name is Missledyne Online. If you want to guys, if you guys want to send me a message on there and join me for some matches, I would love that. That would be fantastic. Um, so yeah, right now we're just holding off all these cannibals until the Normandy, piloted by Ashley Williams, can get here and save our butts because we are doing so well. I would also like to add that I am low on ammo, so... There it is! Alright! Save the day! Superly duperly! Look at that! I'd like to add I'm a huge fan of the Mass Effect universe. Comics, uh, novels, books. The books and novels are the same thing. Games. Ah, oh, so good, so good! So Ashley's made it. Welcome back, Shepard. That's good. Glad to Thanks. see that. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. Yeah. I'll be back for you. And I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Uh, those of you... Uh who get easily upset or anything might want to turn away uh, at this point. Just saying.
Yeah, that just happened. What if I said, get the hell out of there? Right? For those of you in the US, March 6th is going to be a fantastic day. For those of you in Europe, March 9th is going to be a fantastic day. It's been a very long time since, since I've played something so fantastic. Welcome to Mass Effect 3.